So Steve, today was an opportunity at the launch for people to walk around and really appreciate this venue for how impressive it really is. What was your initial reaction when you walked in? I think before I got here, I'd, I'd obviously got some of the information and you get a little bit concerned with uh, the sizes that you, you're told about, thinking how is that really going to work? But as soon as you walk in, the, the, the image of everybody you meet is, is so positive and, and uh, um, uh, it will work from that point of view. And when you see that big hall and, and all the different sports going on in it, you're thinking, yeah, the, this, this is going to work really well. So as a training venue for um, uh, the, the uh, Olympics and Paralympics, it's going to be a, a great benefit for the teams involved from that point of view, but also the legacy side of it that's going to be for the community and, and the local people afterwards. And uh, I suppose that the ethos is, is about getting elite athletes training here. Um, but all that rubs off on the, on the youngsters and, and the, the general public will be doing it here as well. So uh, I think they've got a very good balance from the whole process. And when you talk about the youngsters, this afternoon was a day of laughter. There were children running all around the place and it's so vast, the space. What do you think it would mean for young children to know that they are training in a facility that has housed Olympic athletes? I was outside uh, on, the, on the track with, uh, with one of the primary schools and uh, they weren't uh, taking part on, on the track, but they came down and they were saying, why don't we have a field? Why can't we use this? And they're, they're only five minutes away. So uh, now the, the teachers are going back because of the enthusiasm of, of the kids saying, oh, that we, we've got to be able to uh, um, get them out on some grass. And, and so, you know, they, they've got their own sort of hard uh, playing areas, of, of, uh, but no, no grass from that point of view. And so the, just as seeing their excitement it sort of gives you a buzz from, from that point of view. And if they can be able to be down here and be part of it, then uh, of seeing the elite athletes, seeing a, a people sort of thinking, God, he's, he's won Olympic medals, he's done this, he's, he's a world champion, or he's aiming for the junior championships along those sort of lines, is that that inspires other people as well. So the more you can mix abilities together, I think the benefit is for everybody. And that goes for the, the elite athletes as well. And just finally, um, a note on the gym facility. It's across two levels. I don't think I've seen as many pieces of equipment in one building itself. It, it's pretty impressive, and the equipment for Olympic athletes and for people just down the road to use all at the same time. No, it definitely is, is that uh, I have been to some, see some uh, uh, pretty uh, um, big places before but probably not quite as much equipment as this when you see new builds is always sometimes of of the, the filling it afterwards is is probably more expensive than building it in the first place to see all the equipment here in the free weights as well uh, very very impressive uh, the size of the two gyms are, are, are pretty amazing and I like that I don't think that you should be sort of segmenting um, so our, this is where our Paralympics are going to be or Olympians are going to be um, or the general public and oh, we'll keep the school kids away well away from it is they're all integrated to other and I think that's a, a, a very strong standpoint for the whole thing.